analysis of the underlying uh, virtual machine on mobile phones. So this work is done at the uh, Sharif University of Technology in Tehran, in Iran. And um, it's a pleasure to have um, Mrs. Uh, Saham Sa Samini here. Sorry for that. And uh, uh, so she has her roots um, uh, at the uh, Amika Bibi University of Technology in Tehran, but she's currently uh, doing um, her uh, master studies at the uh, uh, Chandler's University of Technology in Göteborg in Sweden, so it was not that uh, big <laughs> travel for you. So uh, welcome and welcome to the presentation. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Sahar Sanmi and uh, today I'm going to present this paper for you. Unfortunately, the authors couldn't attend this conference, so I will try uh, my best to uh, cover all the required information and answer your question. But, uh, and also in the last slide, you can find the contact information uh, for the authors. Uh, in this presentation, first I'm going to give you a brief introduction uh, about an uh, Android uh, operating system and uh, also Dalvik virtual machine. Then uh, the method used for this project, uh, which is called uh, bytecode profiling, uh, would be uh, discussed. And then we can uh, take a look at the experiment, experimental results and then the future works of this paper. Uh, as we all know that uh, nowadays uh, cell phones aren't just used for calls or send or receive messages. Uh, now they are, uh, smartphones are uh, used in uh, many other uh, areas and in many uh, kinds of uh, applications. Now they are also going to be used instead of uh, computer laptops. Uh, so uh, this area is very uh, is going to be more advanced and complex. There are many different operating systems uh, for smartphones uh, and uh, Android is one of the fastest growing operating system uh, which is developed by Google uh, and, uh, in 2007. Uh, Android is an open source uh, software which is based on Linux kernel uh, and uh, Android uh, needs a virtual machine called Dalvik to run their, uh, its application. Uh, by the reports of Google, uh, in 2012, the number of uh, Android users uh, reached to 400 uh, million uh, users. Uh, as a brief introduction to virtual machine, uh, virtual machines are a software implementation uh, of a hardware uh, machine. Uh, uh, the virtual machine can be divided into two different groups. One uh, group is the system virtual machines that are uh, implemented on a host uh, operating system and uh, in the same time they, uh, there can be uh, multiple uh, distinct operating system and uh, the, uh, why, uh, the noun uh, uh, virtual machine for this kind is VMware Workstation. Uh, and the other uh, kind of virtual machines is the process virtual machine, uh, which uh, is uh, run on a host operating system. Uh, and in, and uh, these process virtual machines, they just uh, act like a normal program. When the application starts, uh, the corresponding virtual machine also starts and created. And when the application ends, uh, the virtual machine also uh, ends and terminates. Uh, for uh, the best uh, example of process virtual machine is the Java virtual machine. Uh, well, uh, as mentioned before, uh, Android needs a virtual machine to use its uh, to run the application. Uh, the name of the Android virtual machine is Dalvik. Uh, Dalvik was also uh, developed by Google, uh, and uh, which is a uh, open source. Uh, virtual machine and uh, it's used to uh, execute the Android application. Uh, the main uh, property of uh, Dalvik is that it's optimized for low memory usage and uh, for the mobile phone applications. Uh, 
Uh, if you want to check the uh, uh, garbage uh, in kinds of uh, virtual machine, it's uh, a process virtual machine, which means that uh, every time uh, with the application it, uh, it is created and then it, uh, it terminates. Uh, unlike uh, Java virtual machine, uh, uh, Darwick is the register based um, virtual machine, which means that uh, in Java virtual machine, which is a stack based virtual machine, uh, you only have one a address to uh, use, and it's like a stack. You put the data and use push pop uh, address to uh, do the operands. But here it's a register base, uh, you can have access to more than just one uh, address at the same time. Uh, and due to the reports, uh, these kinds of uh, um, virtual machines that are based on a uh, register, they make the total size of the uh, application to be less, and so uh, it's good for the memory usage. And uh, as shows in the picture, Dalek is like the heart of the uh, Android. And so if we want to make any improvements for the Android, uh, it's, it's the major part to make the improvements. Here you can see the translation flow, flow for the Dalek. Uh, all the applications for the Android are written in Java codes. Uh, then the Java compiler translates the Java source code into Java byte codes. Uh, a bytecode is a set of instruction sets that can be used uh, and uh, understand by the virtual machine. Uh, then uh, the X compiler translates these Java bytecodes to Dolby bytecodes that can be uh, used by the uh, Dolby virtual machine. Uh, this uh, Dolby bytecode uh, then, after uh, being uh, run into the mobile phones, they, can, they are executed files that they, they can be run by the Dolby virtual machine. And then uh, at the final stage, the interpreter uh, translates this uh, white code to the assembly codes which can be used by the uh, hardware. And the method used in this uh, project calls white code profiling. Uh, actually, uh, before, uh, before this, uh, there was no, uh, no actual uh, profiling for Dalvik virtual machine. There are uh, a lot of similar profiling for Java, but not for Dalvik. Uh, this uh, profiling was done uh, as a dynamic profiling, which means it was done uh, during the execution of uh, applications. Uh, yeah, Dalvik has uh, 218 uh, different bytecodes uh, in this uh, Profiling, they were divided into 17 families. Uh, and uh, to do the profiling, uh, the goal in profiling was to uh, find the uh, most uh, time consuming uh, applications and bytecodes. Uh, and uh, beside the time consumption, also the uh, number of instructions per bytecode was also uh, considered. Uh, as there was no actual tool for doing this uh, profiling, uh, debug and uh, virtual machine debug libraries uh, were used. Uh, there, uh, there was a need to choose uh, some popular benchmark for profiling. Uh, so these three benchmarks, camera, music player, and calculated, that are available by default in mobile and uh, Android phones. They were chosen as a um, good uh, representative of popular uh, applications. Uh, the phone that was chosen to run uh, this profiling was the HTC Nexus One smartphone, which has a uh, processor based on ARM uh, version 7, and uh, it uses an Android uh, 2.5 uh, operating system. Uh, this is the part of code that uh, was uh, used uh, by uh, those two libraries, debug and virtual debug uh, libraries. Uh, the uh, application code that was uh, wanted to be uh, checked was wrapped into different parts. 
and these codes were uh, put into uh, into that code. Uh, in the first line, first uh, an object name I can't create it. Uh, and the second line, there's an array which will keep the frequency of the, the byte codes. Number uh, line three, it's uh, at the start of the pro profiling. Uh, here, the profiling uh, starts. Then the code of the program, like the camera program, then the code uh, comes after line three. Uh, line four uh, shows the uh, end of profiling, which uh, comes at the last line of the program. Uh, it, uh, in line five, you can see an array which uh, stores the results of this, uh, the number of frequency of these byte codes. Uh, here in this table, you can see the results for the dynamic profile uh, based on the frequency of execution. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the byte code were divided into 17 families, uh, and each family has a few of number uh, members, like uh, uh, the first family move between registers, it has 10 members, and uh, each uh, family has the similar uh, byte code. It, it was divided into family to be uh, able to uh, check more accurately. Uh, as you can see here, these three uh, fam uh, families move between registers, read write field, and control flow. Uh, they, uh, they come at the first and they got the most frequency of the execution time. But uh, there was done an, an another experiment. Uh, in this experiment, uh, beside the frequency of usage of each white code, uh, also uh, the time spent uh, was considered. It means that uh, the execution time of each individual white code was also considered. Uh, for this purpose, the number of uh, number of uh, instructions executed for each uh, bytecode uh, was uh, multiplied by the frequency, and then uh, a new uh, measure was uh, used to uh, do this uh, profiling. Uh, if you compare this, if you look at uh, the sevens which is the method uh, invocation, it comes here in the first part and took around 32% of the execution time. Uh, uh, it's, uh, the results are uh, somehow the same, like the, the second part here, the redraft read -write fields, and which is the uh, second, here it's not a big difference, but uh, here these five families uh, show that uh, around uh, 80, 2% of the execution time of Android uh, applications were for these uh, five families. Uh, as a conclusion, uh, I can say that uh, as Dalvik and uh, Android is a growing uh, area in the smartphones, so to make any inf uh, inf improvement in uh, Android, the best way is to improve uh, the Dalvik virtual machine. Uh, due to the experiments done in this project, it was uh, shown that uh, less than 27% uh, of the white codes that are uh, for those five families, they used the uh, 82% of the total time. So uh, for the future work, uh, it can be uh, said that if uh, there, there, there we can have a processor uh, that can be uh, used to run the uh, instruction sets of Dalvik um, in the hardware. So instead of having a virtual machine uh, with the instruction set, if we use a hardware that uh, uh, translates these uh, uh, instruction sets directly to the hardware, then uh, it would be faster uh, and it would uh, use less memory. So, uh, and uh, if we have a general perp, uh, not a, a processor with uh, focus on these five families, then uh, even we can have a higher uh, improvements. Uh, right now, the, this group is working on this uh, processor to design this kind of uh, processor which uh, focuses on these five families. 
So if uh, because any indirect access to the memory uh, to the hardware uh, needs time and consume resources. So if we remove this software layer and use the hardware uh, parts in between these, then uh, it can increase the time and uh, spend for uh, this uh, application. Thank you.